Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Antonio from No Side. And we're playing a game. That game is called No, I'm Not Human. And it's one of four games from the Violent Horror Stories anthology. And um, this game is about the end of the world due to a, a supernova. And we have visitors coming and knocking on our door. And it's up to us to determine if we can trust these said people that are coming and knocking on our door. So without further ado, let's click start and um, begin our adventure in No, I'm Not Human. Let's do this. So here we are, in our home. Interesting how the game looks. A lot of doors. Um, this is our entrance. Oh, hello. People from the cities have already started coming to the neighbors. People have changed a lot. If they come to your place, you let them in. Just be careful, okay? I heard, I've heard of people being killed by other people. Really? Now, I hear these stories more and more often. An acquaintance said that creatures that look like humans are coming. In a few days, they will tell me what signs can be used to distinguish them from humans. You can't stay alone. Something very evil will come. And who knows what next? What's going on out there? Is it safe outside? What's going on out there? It's safe to look out the windows at night. And I even recommend it. That way you, you at least realize what surrounds your house. It's hard to look out during the day. It gets very hot. The light hurts my eyes. Wait, what do I... What do we do now? Let's summarize. There's gonna be people coming in at night. You decide who to let in, and who not. It's hard to decide visually. We'll be told later by the authorities what to do. Look in the windows, you don't know what's going on. And keep your head down, it's dangerous everywhere now. I'll sleep in your cabinet tonight and tomorrow, you can do it yourself. Come and see me in the afternoon, and we'll talk. Seems no one else will come tonight. Guess we can go into the bedroom. Let's call for a night. Good morning, dear viewers. It's the morning weather forecast. The sun keeps shining and the summer heat persists in our town. The duration of this heat has already broken a Guinness record, and it seems that the good weather isn't going anywhere. Scientists are closely monitoring solar activity and predict its intensification. But they assure us there's no need to worry. So, grab your sunglasses, take your best swimsuits, and don't forget your hats. Most importantly, make sure you don't get sunstroke. Lately, there's been more weird behavior in the town, and experts think it's because of too much sun. Oh. So that's that. So it's daytime now? Well... See if there's anyone at the door. No? Oh, pantry. Nothing in here. Kitchen?
cabinet. How's it going, man? Oh. Did you see the newscast? It's a nightmare. Okay, in this heat, every dialogue is going to waste your energy. So think hard about who, wa who you want to talk to. And one more thing. Checking people for signs of guest should be in the dialogue too. So be careful how you spend your energies. If you decide we've talked to everyone and you don't want to sleep, have a beer. Go to the kitchen, have a cold one from, from the fridge. It'll use up all your energy and you'll want to sleep right away. So I'm just to, I'm just supposed to sit around and survive? That's kind of weird, don't you think? It's kind of weird, don't you think? Let me preface this with a word just in case. During the day, you can talk to your house guests about all sorts of things. In dialogue with them, you can check for signs of fake people. Next, you can decide what to do with the those who are not human in your opinion. If you don't want to communicate with anyone else, but still have the strength, drink beer in the kitchen. There's one in the fridge I brought brought you to chill. It'll make you so sleepy. And wait for help. If they call an evacuation, stay close to my family. Now have a beer and get some rest. You look tired. By the way, I've heard that at night someone walks around a skin at oh wow, I can't read. By the way, I've heard that all night someone walks around asking if you're home alone. If you open the door, don't say that you're alone. Well, it's the living room. Uh, I'm feeling drowsy from the beer. Guess it's time to go to sleep. Regain our energy for tonight. I think someone knocked at the door. <clears throat> All right. <sighs> Is my dad here? Can you call him? It wasn't scary during the day, but now it is. A lot of people went out at night. What's your father's name? Did you forget his name? Oh. You're checking to see if I'm a visitor. <coughs> oh, sorry. Beer got my throat all dry. You're smart. I'll start checking people now, too. Did you get here safely? You know, it's like everything is turned upside down. People now stay indoors or sleep during the day. At night, they go out and do things. I'm still not used to being afraid of the dark, but it seems like there's nothing to fear. Where is there? Have a good time. Thanks. Good luck to you. We go now. I'm scared to be outside alone at night. We're gonna play a game. He made me some kind of game where you have to roll dice and then walk on objects. I mean like a chair or a couch. And then you have to build a road. Anyway, I'll show you later. Goodbye. Someone else at the door? I was hiding in the pub, but I was kicked out. Why? Hmm. Not everyone can handle my temper. But I don't mean to offend anyone. Don't get me wrong. It's just, sometimes it gets sickening. You know how it is. 
What do you think? Will you let me in? Are you sure there won't be any trouble with you? What do you mean? By troubles? Homeowner? Murder? And fights are against my soul. But I let no harm come to myself. What I like is eating and drinking. And talking in a good mood. Is that a problem? Why did... Why did they kick you out of your last shelter? I was thinking to tell you something offensive, but I've changed my mind. I told you, people just felt uncomfortable with me. There were all sorts of weirdos. When I think about it, maybe it was for the best that they kicked me out. They would have eaten me alive and not even noticed. Alright. Alright, come in. Thanks. Trust in people nowadays is worth no more than a coin. That's why I appreciate your trust. Maybe. Alright. I can't promise anything. Alright, let's hope we didn't make a bad bad call. Oh. Someone's at the door again. It's dead quiet outside. Nobody's there. Even the alcoholics, for some unknown reason, decided not to show up on the street. Are they afraid of someone? You see several teenagers spending time in a field outside the window. They're sitting around chatting excitedly, not paying attention to you. Strange that we just have people outside our house hanging out. Guess we can't look out that window. Where did our friend go? Guess we can't check the rooms during the night. Let's check the front door one more time. Oh my god. Sorry for disturbing you so late. It's just too hot here on this day. The TV said it's better not to go out in the sun. Is there any corner for me? Who are you? Mm. I used to live closer to the town. The asphalt heats up pretty intensively out there. Ha <laughs> I used to work as a cashier, not anymore though. I got fired. Just didn't have any luck with work. What are you gonna do now? Eh. I'll try to survive somehow. It scares me, of course. With these visitors around. And the sun blazing like just hell. I really want to live. Hell. <laughs> Ain't you scared? Please. Tell me it's gonna be alright soon. Yeah, man, it'll, it'll be all right. Come on, come in. Thank you. Oh, thank you, really. Oh, God. I'll live one more day. All right, I think that's... Yeah. No one else for tonight. Ah. Hopefully we made the right calls. And that these are good people. We'll have to have a chat with him in the morning. Till then, let's hit the hay. We interrupt our morning show for an urgent message. Today at 6.28 a.m., there was a powerful solar energy eruption. This flare was larger than science scientists predicted. Their temperature has reached a critical level. Authorities have declared a state of emergency. We all, we urge all citizens to avoid going outside during daylight hours. Now, on to the news. Aliens? People emerging from underground? No, this isn't a sci-fi story or tabloid headline. Eyewitnesses report contact with visitors around the city. One witness encountered a middle-aged man who had perfectly white teeth. 
It turns out he was one of these visitors. Similar incidents with visitors sporting perfect teeth have been observed. So if you want to identify them, check their teeth. Please stay alert and calm. Now, let's move on to other news. <sighs> All right, good morning. So, uh, we have two people staying with us. I guess we should, uh, check and see where they are. No one's in the bathroom. Oh. Ah, uh, hopefully uh, this will all be over soon. I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Teeth. Are you going to be making decisions based on my teeth? Huh. Oh, I've had my teeth fixed recently. Although, to be honest, I can't remember when I've been to the dentist. Have I ever been to one? God, I can't even remember what I ate yesterday because of fear. His teeth is looking really nice. Does that... Do I fit the description? That can't be. I can't be a visitor, yes? No, it's just a coincidence, right? How can I be a visitor? It, ca it can't be. It can't be, can it? I remember my life, nothing in it, nothing like that. Thank you. <sighs> All right. That was a lot to take in. Where's our other guest? Yeah. Did you want something? I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Open your mouth. I want to see your teeth. You want to see my teeth? Well, look at them. They still have the taste of unhappiness and smoke on them. Yellowish, huh? Well, don't fuck with me with your tests. I'm not a visitor. <sighs> All right. Uh, hopefully, this will be over soon. What do you want to check? Huh? Are you going to make decisions based on teeth? Uh oh. I've had my feet too. Alright, we've already been through this. Look, man, I've heard you out. I don't know if I could trust you in my home. You're putting me in a tough position, man. Yeah, all right. We'll leave him be. Shit. All right. We can't check out the windows, right? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, crap. Alright. Guess we'll drink a beer and... Oh, I don't know where I'm going in my own home.
All right, let's go to sleep. So, we've had another knock on our door. Time to go see who it is. Let me tell you right away, I'm not afraid of the heat, but I'm still looking for a quiet place. Can I find peace at your place? Who are you? It doesn't matter anymore. You're asking if I'm a visitor, aren't you? No, I'm not a visitor, but if- But there is something I would ask of you. Later. I'm not sure yet. You don't mind the heat? I always feel cold. While some are burning up inside, I wrap myself in jackets and still feel cold. I'm scared to take off my clothes. What if the only... What if it only brings more suffering? What if I can't die from it? I think you better leave. I get it. Okay, bye. I see you got a lot of gunpowder residue on your hands. Can you shoot me? Yeah, you need the bullets yourself. Bye. Wow. Oh. Let me check outside really quick. Oh. <sighs> wow. The coldness that just overcame my body. On the path stands a man as pale as death itself. There are strange folds in his skin. The skin seems to be too big for him. You can't see his eyes from here, but you can feel his drilling. You can feel him drilling you with his gaze. Feel fear and pray to God that the creepy visitor will avoid the house. Wow, alright. Are the kids still out? Oh my god. There are bodies of teenagers on the ground. Someone killed them. It seems to be recent because the blood hasn't dried yet. The pictures give you goosebumps and make you feel a little uneasy. Oh my god. How fortunate we are. We witnessed firsthand the consequences of human passions. The earth will be cleansed, the sun will do its work, and we will go to a new clean world. That's the fucking good news. You're scaring me, man. Are you out of your mind? Listen to me, I'll give you a brief rundown. The sun burns and it burns us for a reason. It bakes sins out of us. We've all done all sorts of things and now the sun is angry. Give his hit to us. And that's a good thing. All of our sins will be over. We'll live our lives properly. You mean we all have to die? Nah. Sins will fade away. The sun may die, but we will live. There will be more deaths. No more stealing. No more greedy bastards who can't sell me what I want for a fair price. Can you imagine such a thing? Do you realize what this is all about? Ugh, I don't know about this guy. Seems a bit off. But it does seem like he believes he's a human. And doesn't seem to be kind of joshing us. Alright. Alright. We can't let innocent humans die out there. It would be wrong of us. Come in. I could tell you a lot more about this. 
Do you have any beer? I'm proud to ask. Oh, man, another knock. Too bad we are the witnesses. Maybe we are participants too. You need anything? Oh, thanks. Everything I need is already there. What I don't have, you can't help me with. Will you read my fortune? Choose where I should open the book and read a line? What are you talking about? That's how you look at it. What do my words mean to you? Will you read my fortune from a book? Um, alright, yeah, open near the middle, last paragraph. The dead will come and tell, and he will not be believed. What does that mean? I need to think now. Maybe I'll see you later. <sighs> Man, it's stressful. Need some sleep. We'll pick this up in the morning. Good morning, dear viewers. This is the morning news. Solar activity remains abnormal, and experts predict that it will continue to intensify. There are continuing reports from eyewitnesses about encounters with visitors. In response to the situation, authorities urgently ramped up FEMA operations. FEMA is an acronym for the Federal Emergency Management Agency. FEMA stuff members It's a strange way to say that. FEMA stuff members wear a yellow hazmat suit. The FEMA special committee started functioning recently, but they have discovered a new indicator of visitors. The FEMA special committee experts believe that besides teeth, visitors can be identified by dirt under their nails. As reported by FEMA, this was discovered during an inspection of one of those houses. Employees encountered a woman who had worked as a nurse. For some unknown reason, she had dirt under her nails. Given that visitors emerged from the ground, the woman was taken for testing. Her dangerous status was confirmed. If you notice anyone resembling a visitor, promptly contact FEMA members or call the hotline at 0451. Please stay alert and calm and avoid leaving your home during daylight hours. Now, let's move on to other news. All right, well, we got some new information on the visitors, and I think we gotta go talk to our friends. Well, maybe not friends, just guests. Ah, hopefully this will all be over soon. Hey, I'm gonna need to check on you again. What do you want to check? I want to see your hands. Show your finger- show you fingernails? An interesting sign for sure. Yeah, let's see. What's on him? It can't be the ground. I- uh, I don't even remember digging in the dirt. Maybe someone got me dirty. How did I get this dirt? It's not like I haven't showered in days, yes? That's weird. Alright, so he's suspect number one. But I need to see if there's dirt here. I'll check you last. I trust you right now. I'll listen to your words, human. Speak. Let me check on you. What do you want to check, fella? Let me see your hands. 
No taboo, my friend. Watch my nails as long as you like. I've trained myself to get useful sunlight with him. And open beer caps. Did you, uh, just want to check it out? I thought, uh, you were just an evil man. Old man seems all right. I need to check on you. I want to see your hands. Where did this even come from? Dirt under the fingernails? Is that supposed to be a sign? The can't just wash their hands? That's all it takes? So what? Every gardener is a visitor now? That's ridiculous. Look at the nails. Well, am I a visitor? Of course not. Alright, he seems alright. Yeah, man. So far, two for two. And I don't think I care about what you say. I, I, I can't have you in my home. And I don't believe you're human. I've never done this before. Rest in peace, whatever you are. Is this the end of my life? What a shame. Oh my god. <sighs> Just go to sleep. night is this? I don't even remember. Oh my god. Why are you here? How's it going in there? Is everything okay? Why are you ignoring my question? Listen, I... Just curious. You're just reading someone's fortune? Promising salvation to some... Driving... Some away? I have other people taking shelter here. You're lucky tonight. I'm not quite sure how to help you with that. What the hell? Alexis started talking. Alexis, stop. Okay. Back to the game. I can hear someone whispering in your rooms. But who knows what will happen tomorrow. So I believe that was a visitor. I kind of have no doubt in my mind. I have less of a doubt than what's currently in my closet. Oh! There's a group of armed soldiers outside the window. Apparently there are, there are a small units sent here from the city to provide security for the EC. You can only hear bits and pieces of phrases about a pale man with a bare torso. Oh my god. Maybe they want to track down that creepy stranger. You feel relieved that there are people ready to deal with a dangerous guest on the streets. Yeah, thank God. Bodies of teenagers burned to death on the ground. They seem to have been lying here all day. Two emergency workers are standing next to the bodies and writing something down. It's good that there, there are those who can remove the, the bodies. It's scary to imagine what kind of contagion could appear if the rotting bodies are 
not removed from the streets. Let's see if there's anyone at the door. Oh my. Hey, can I rest your place? Is that a person on it? Where did you come from? I don't remember anymore. I don't care about it. I'm very tired, and if I don't get some rest, I'll just collapse from exhaustion. Does your friend need help? Not anymore. When he needed it, no one helped. Now he's dead. He might be alive if anyone gave a shit. Ugh, dude's just carrying around his dead friend. I can't just... Ugh, I mean, I already have a dead body in here. But it's weird he didn't answer where he was from. Maybe grief and denial. There was that man out there, the bare torso. I've already taken a life of one of those things. If I gotta do it again, I'll do it. I don't think I'll stay long. I just need a break. Alright. Oh, another knock. <laughs> You see what's going on? Fucking hell. What's it going down here? What do you need? <laughs> Just curious, that's all. Actually, I've got a little scheme. You can easily make some money. The sun feeling so good, you can make money without even trying. All the losers are scared, all, uh, scared of something. But you just need to hustle, bitch. Why did, why did you come to me? You're already in business. You're gathering people. You're doing something here. You're making things happen. We'll turn this into a celebration of life. I can kind of tell by his teeth right now that his teeth aren't, like, perfect. But his face, face seems odd. Dude gives me the heebie-jeebies. Ugh, you're an idiot. But whatever. I don't give a shit about you, bitch. Fine. I'll go to your neighbor's then. Alright, see you later. Ah, oh, jeez. It's so quiet at night. Hi. Can I come in? Are you looking for something? Why would you think that? No, I'm actually looking for something. But this, the same thing everyone else is. Safety. And a way to kill boredom. And you guys are so quiet at night, I honestly didn't think anyone slept here. So I thought I'd check if it's okay to come in. But it was locked. I was about to knock before I tried breaking the door down. Where did you come from? There was a hospital in the center of town. Yes, there was, but it became overwhelmed with patients, and we couldn't cope. The scariest part is that many visitors infiltrated in such conditions. The situation spiraled so out of control that the entire hospital was shut down. It's pure chaos in there now. The situation... Oh. Yeah, come in. I hope I can help someone. Alright. Guy seems cool. God, there's another person. Excuse me? Huh. That was odd. Let's get some sleep. Another night down. Hopefully our decisions were the right one.
Good morning, dear viewers. This is the morning news. The Valiant FEMA staff members have organized quarantine zones. Anyone showing signs of visitors is directed there. Some people express concern that the identity of visitors remain unknown. However, FEMA assures that there are merely ill individuals in need of ass assistance. Additionally, FEMA has identified a new indication of visitors. Intensely irritated blood red eyes. This information was discovered through experiments with detained guests. According to FEMA experts, irritation is caused by exposure to bright sunlight. Please stay alert and calm and avoid leaving your home during daylight hours. Now, let's move on to other news. Well, morning news taught us something. Something we gotta check for. And that's, uh... Bloodshot eyes. Old man, I believe you're good. We gotta check you though. I need to check on you. What do you wanna check? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wanna have to look at your eyes. Why why do you wanna check? Redness in the eyes? Go ahead, try. Whoa. If I show emotion, does that make me a visitor? Can a person in this new world still cry, apparently? Laughing is already forbidden? Can we be frank now? No joy allowed. No crying allowed. Sometimes speaking isn't allowed either. We can only sit and cover our faces with our hands. Let me check your teeth. What? Okay. Was that perfect though, with, because of the gap? Does that count? Oh shit. Mm. Sir, I'm gonna need to check on you. Uh, I'd like to check your eyes. Huh, yeah. I'll show you my eyes. Not sure if you've noticed, but I have polychoria. That's that's what it means. Whoa! My vision is actually worse because of it. You'd think having two pupils in one eye would be handy, but alas. Hey, dude got some cool points, so we'll leave him. This guy, though, I don't know how I'm feeling about him. My hands are tired from carrying the one they refused to save. Oof. Must I even be asking you to do this fucking thing? If you want to shoot, just shoot. I don't have the strength anymore. No, I'm sorry. I'm just really exhausted. I'm listening to you humans speak. I'm gonna need to check on you, sir. Check your eyes. Look into my dark eyes. I absorb all the blessings of light with them, transforming energy from them. I get all my strength from my eyes. Did you see the true power of the sun in my eyes? If not, you just blind. 
try looking at the sun for a longer time as I do. Alright, dude seems fine. I think I trust him. Nothing in this one, though? Oh, yeah, it's the day. Right. And then I trust our boy in there. Alright, let's drink a beer and get some get some sleep. First knock in the night. I wonder who it could be. <sighs> I got a bad vibe tonight. I don't know why. I'm from the FEMA crew. We're here to help you. You came alone? <laughs> no, of course not. Our crew is going door to door in the neighborhood. We're, we're splitting up to get the job done faster. I won't be staying long. Why are you wearing a hazmat suit? Are we getting one of those? There's no reason to be afraid. The suit is in case you catch the sunrise. Civilians don't need it now. Just stay home. We'll take care of you. Do you have an action plan? Of course. It's it's not like we can act spontaneously. We'll take only one person with us for examination. Since you may have been exposed to solar radiation, we'll check the health of one. Based on that, we'll decide if you all need help. It can be anyone. Do I have to pack two? No, you are, as I understand it, the owner of the house. You stay here for now. We'll take the man away for a while, then decide what to do next. <laughs> we'll issue instructions afterward. <laughs> I'm now taking the man with us. We're leaving. Goodbye. Oh my god, he took our boy. Jeez, oh I hope he's okay. Hey, uh, what a mess. Did you see that? What kind of society is this? The beasts around here are revealed. Finally, nobody's pretending. Are you one of the beasts? We're all the same beasts. If you die long enough, you'll be eaten alive. No bones left. Now, the new order is whoever is the strongest is right. Whoever says he's not one of this kind of people will be dead tomorrow. Have you survived all this time? You'll know too much. You'll you'll soon grow old. I don't ask you how you live. You don't ask me how I live. The main thing is that I won't be a problem for you. Come in. An intelligent decision. The force now rules your life, and you either accept it or get in trouble. Something's off about that guy. <gasps> Let me in. Did something happen? <laughs> my dad, my dad. <laughs> they killed my dad. Who did this? We had visitors. They sat in our room. Daddy was talking to them and something, and they, they killed him. Ah. <laughs> Our house is now on fire. Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah, come in, come in, come in. I'm scared. Oh, jeez. The OG. He's dead. But, um, I'm not for out here. I don't like staying in one place too long. Can't roam around as much anymore. I'm getting too old for that. What are you looking for here? In town, I just want to rest. 
After this damn sun, the visitors started popping up more, crawling everywhere. I'm telling you, we need to snuff them out. They're trying to pull something on us. Yeah, where's your weapon against the visitors? I had a gun. I almost got myself killed. They waited till I was asleep in the tent and just stole my gun. I was running, they were shooting, and that's the kind of fun they have. There's nothing human but a... But a she. Coming. I knew you weren't a pushover or a real man. We'll mix it up with these visitors. They won't come near us by a mile. Ugh. Okay, another bit. Another, another person. <laughs> Is anybody home? Looking for someone? I'm not looking for anyone, I just need a place to hide. The whole neighborhood has been kicked out and no one knows where to go. Now I'm running around in shock looking for a place to live. Why did they kick you out? They said there was a big sunstroke or something on our house. Those in yellow suits kicked us out. Somebody was grabbed, taken for tests. Some were released. Yeah, come in. Yeah, thanks. Don't open the door to those yellow ones, okay? They're gonna take us somewhere. Oh, fuck. What did we do to that guy? Oh, no. Oh my! Pale, creepy man stands in the road and smiles. He has someone's severed head in his hand, wearing a helmet. It's a soldier's head with a grimace of horror frozen on his face. You're very uncomfortable with what you see. Oh my god. The entire squad of soldiers who were here yesterday are dead. The bodies are strewn all over this tree, and one of the bodies is missing a head. Did that pale, creepy stranger kill them all? You are horrified by the picture of carnage, and you feel in danger. Oh my god, I hope the door is locked. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Alright, we, we just need to go to sleep. Neighbor's house, which was recently painted white, burned to the ground. It is now completely black. Oh my god, that was that was our friend's house. Our neighbor's house. The fire seems to have died down recently. Did someone set it on fire on purpose? What happened to the neighbor's family? Did anyone survive? Why did they burn the house down? Your head is filled with anxious thoughts and feeling of incomprehension and helplessness. Well, we know we know one of them survived, the daughter. Good morning, dear viewers. This is the morning news. FEMA continues to identify new signs of visitors. According to the data, attempt, uh, attempts to photograph visitors result in severe blurring in the photos. This effect can only be observed with film cameras. Unfortunately, the reasons for this phenomenon have not been determined yet. However, FEMA urges citizens to use this new information to identify visitors. Please stay alert and calm and avoid leaving your home during the daylight hours. Now, let's move on to other news. Oh my god. Okay. So we got this guy in here. We got her. We got the kit. Yeah, this guy. Okay. Kind of forgot who that guy was. We got... We got Mr. Arkham himself. What? No. I just got some rest. I need to take a photo of you right now, man. No one helped save my husband, but... Uh, oh, you're a woman? Oh, I'm 
so sorry. You want to mark his death? What a lot. Uh, I, I can't even do the voice now. Take a picture of the person you're talking to. You don't see anything out of the ordinary. The dead man was in the frame. It makes you think. Now just go away. But... Where'd that guy go? Mama, mama. I need to check on you. I'm not really into pho photo, uh, photogra photography, photography. Will you show me a photo later? You're taking a picture of a girl. The photo came out a little blurry. The girl ran up to you without waiting for the end of the photo shoot. Hmm. Thank you. I didn't like it. Don't ask me to take any more pictures. I need to check on you. Let me check your teeth. Let me check on this dude. Wait, was it blurry? Like taking pictures to flash reminds me of the oh, it makes me panic. No, you you didn't get it. I'm not taking pictures. doesn't strike me as a guy that should have perfect teeth. God damn. Holy shit. No, I don't trust that guy. Not gonna let me take a picture of him. I've watched the thing. We wasted a lot of energy on that. Just panicking too much. You have any questions for me? I need to check on you. I want to take a photo. I don't like having my picture taken. If those pictures don't end up in the trash later, I'll have to take action. Do you understand that? I'm taking a picture of the person you're talking to. You have the photo around to make it show up. You wave the photo around to make it show up faster. You notice that the picture seems fine, but it's being snatched out of your hands. Give it to me. I'll throw them out myself. But where'd the old man go? Did we shoot him? God, I don't remember. No, I think he was chill. 
Where'd the bags come from? I don't think about anything anymore. That's the pointless question. Everyone already knows, yes, it's the end. And nothing can be changed, nothing can be fixed. Damn the fucking gun. And damn these fucking visitors. Why does the wall look like that? Has it always been like that? Oh, I think we're out of energy. Oh, tired. I can click on the TV. Oh, jeez. We're at the FEMA team. We need to do a survey of your neighborhood. What about the last survey? The results are too mixed. We are not sure of the results yet. The sample is too small. Why was one not enough? The sample is too small. Boss first said to take one at a time. But now we can see that we need more. So we went out again. No, I'm not interested in those examinations. You don't get it. We didn't give give you a choice. We're just doing our job. You can't say no. We'll do what we need to do and leave. God, she took the woman. I mean, I guess it's one last person to check on. What do you think of that one in the suit? I don't know how I feel about him. What's not to know? Okay. Anyway, I don't care. Kind of busy. So can you come back later? I understand. Of course. I'll come back later. Just say are you alone in the house. I have other people taking shelter here. Now please leave. Getting ready? Do you know what you're getting ready for? It's the last days, didn't they tell you? Dogs rule the world, and only dogs will be here. Have a good stay. Alright. Oh my god. It says visitors are not welcome. Looks like the poor guy was mistaken for a guest and killed in the lynching. The thought of violence engulfing... God, yeah, let's just... I don't even want to look at it. You see a stake with a helmeted skull on it. There's some black burnt skin left on the skull and the teeth look like someone pulled them out. That has been here all day. The whole grim display looks like a threat, surely left by the creepy pale visitor. You're looking at your neighbor's house. Only a ghostly silhouette remains. You're de devastated by what you've seen. It seems to disturb you even more to realize that it's not the evil guests who are to blame, but people with paranoia. It brings you anxiety. Jeez. Oh, but what comes next is a terrible secret. You're back? It's not for long. I just walk around and observe what's happening. How the world is changing. And I don't yet feel that the glaciers are going to melt anytime soon. Looks like we're in for birds raining from the sky. What does that mean? You tell me. Is that supposed to be the end? Or are we yet to smell more gunpowder? I can't see it beyond my own nose anymore. Probably nothing to wait for.
What should we do? I don't know. I'll just keep watching. That's all I can do. What will you do? <sighs> These ding dong dishes, man. I don't like it. It is no longer safe to live on the surface of Earth. You board up all the windows and barricade the doors. After conferring with your tenants, you decide not to go out into the outside world anymore. You pray helplessly that someday this will all be over, if the nightmare ever ends. Or it's just a relatively optimistic dream you're having. In fact, your body was mutilated by guests who, given the opportunity to experience emotions, would only be glad to receive such a gift. Just one day short of. Well, seems like we died. That was an interesting game. And I believe there are other endings. So if you enjoyed this, make sure to um, let me know in the comments if you would like to see me play this game again and potentially try to get a different ending um but yeah that was uh no i'm not human what an interesting game so uh like if you enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already join our discord you can find the link on the channel and yeah, I think that's it. All right, guys. Bye-bye.